let's make five ragged farming tool this is a kind of farming tool mainly used in farmland you will see here there are five pointed ragged so all dimensions in millimeter welding radius r2 and r1 here we have some welding like r1 and r2 this is some wooden part you will see here some material steel this is kind of farming tool so we are going to start from mid this is a solid square plate a rectangle plate 20 and depth 5 millimeter and you will see this length 80 millimeter okay then we will make this pipe this barrel from here to here 102 including this this diameter 30 you will see the angle this is important 2.5 and this is hollow you will see this is 2 millimeter thick radius r3 so first we will extrude up to 100 millimeter then we will add this 30 diameter okay this diameter outside to outside 15 you will see here this is located at center front plane is sketch let me draw here a center rectangle smart dimension now 80 millimeter and the height is 20 millimeter okay now go to feature i want to add material so you have to activate extruded boss base feature now see here with the help of this you can add material now start condition keep same end condition you have to choose blind because i want to move in one direction you will see this arrow here you can apply material thickness 5 millimeter fine okay let me select this face sketch circle and this internal diameter 15 millimeter fine look this is fully defined extrude now here this length total length 102 minus 2 it's 100 millimeter but there is a catch uncheck this one i want to make a separate body because uh, i want to make it some uh, hollow or some more operations i have to do with this now angle 2.5 degree outward direction look it seems perfect select this face sketch circle now let's make this circle at center point and uh, diameter shows 30 extrude and make this one let's say how much two millimeter okay you can merge this one okay now here we have two body you will see one two now fill it three millimeter here choose constant type tangent propagation and here symmetric and radius apply three millimeter let's select this end say okay that's fine we apply now let me hide this shell two millimeter because thickness is two millimeter and let me select this end and this end show preview okay see now click and show see here now it's time to add this rack you will see there are total five racks so we will create one side and other side we will just mirror okay now here distance given 100 remember this okay now distance from here to here 150 okay this is also important and you will see this one distance from this end to here 5 millimeter this is important okay we will create and this corner radius r10 and this uh, rod radius or uh, what uh, circular rod radius 5 millimeter 6 millimeter this distance this is the important distance 6 millimeter at both end okay let's see how we can do this 
right plane is sketch corner rectangle we are going to create with the help of rectangle a smart dimension now 30 millimeter distance from here to this end 150 press just make it down now this distance given 5 ok now let me extrude this one extruded boss base keep end condition mid plane and the thickness now see the distance between those end to end is 100 millimeters so I am going to keep this one 100 millimeter but make it unmerge so that this is going to be a separate body say ok now here see this is important now radius select this one constant type not 3 millimeter 10 millimeter symmetric and here you can choose profile so I am going to keep curse circular okay now I have to up make path on this so that uh, let me do one thing select this face sketch draw one circle uh, line okay now select this outer line convert entity but here we need construction line construction line a smart dimension six millimeter similarly do even this and no need but for a reference purpose we will do okay now go to insert sketch tool and here have segment here select thin three sketch point now select this one now see there are three sketch point this is important say okay again go to tool sketch tool segment make it three and select this one okay line now I am going to connect this line again connect this one with this again connect here to here these things we will mirror okay let me select what there is a problem okay that's fine now again create one more line now connect this one with this face select this line this is important okay hold shift key select this line make relation collinear this is the most important if you are not going to connect here no problem we will collect with some uh, feature okay exit go to curve split line I want to project this so here choose project sketch now let me select the surfaces this one say ok look sketch profile now the diameter of this 5 millimeter right click selection manager here select first this one and select this arrow and this is going to select all say ok come options uncheck now this is important align with end see this is going to align with this face this is important unmerge result later we will combine say ok and now repeat this all for this custom uh, circular profile diameter 5 right click selection manager now select this line here choose this arrow so that this is going to completely going to select ok options uncheck align ok swift boss base circular profile 5 right click select 
group select this one arrow okay option align uncheck merge result say okay oh that's it now go to direct editing here we have option called delete keep body so delete delete body select this okay now see we have this now see there is a elliptical shape 10 diameter or radius and this is also we need to connect okay let's go to insert feature dome 10 millimeter radius and I'm going to select this here choose elliptical dome okay now repeat the same thing for all three okay we done okay now let's make a split line show go to feature swift boss base circular profile 5 select this one say okay look you will see the preview options uncheck merge result align with end faces see this is going to align with this say okay now look here we have to move this one go to direct editing you will find one option move face even though you can search here move face translate let me select this face now here you have to choose up to surface okay let's see face all one selected surface let me select this now you will see the preview how this is going to move so this is how useful move command I don't want copy just see now let's try to mirror this so how you can do this right plane go to feature mirror here select bodies so I'm going to select bodies one two three center one no need to choose you will see the preview okay don't check merge result say okay see now let me select and hide see I think we done okay last option the welding is balanced but select inside face sketch circle how much this diameter going to be because this is 2 millimeter thick so 15 minus 4 this is going to be 11 extrude blind okay now see 28 millimeter more so if we calculate from here to this end 102 plus 28 30 radius corner 5 and here we have weldings 130 but unmerge angle 2.5 outward fine S select this end fillet radius 5 millimeter choose constant type fillet say ok and here we go now all the materials we have here now if you want to uh, let's say okay let's do welding steel material I am going to let me do one thing let's apply direct material here so it looks more practical okay that's fine chrome plating no polished steel that's fine now this one go to appearance 
organic polish stick oh that's fine go to weld means weld bead i want to apply weld bead now here let's say 2 mm select this face this face you will see the preview 2 mm selection tangent propagation also no problem rest keep as it is now here drop down this i and activate this weld view weld bead you will see here now you will see similarly i am going to apply every time you have to separate separately select one select one two okay again weld bead select this face this one one millimeter okay this rod and this face one millimeter you will see here pink color okay see we done here if you don't want to see this one simply right click and hide now this is the welding we did i think so this is how we can make this simple tool i hope you like don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching